Then when you get home and you get back to the places, the familiar places where you have the specific memories, that's that's where the pain starts to come in. And that's fine. You know, that's that hurts. That's we get that. Um, but in my opinion, I've said this before. The person that you built in your mind, the person that you had a relationship with that you built in your mind, that person doesn't actually exist. They're not real. They're not real. She wasn't who she appeared to be. And she isn't who she appeared to be. She isn't the sweet, understanding, fun person that you cared so much about. That's not her. That's your memory. That's what you built in your head. She is actually the selfish, self-centered person that cares about herself first and doesn't care about you. That's the reality. And that's fine. But a lot of times the pain that we feel isn't based on the reality. It's based on the fantasy. So you're feeling pain of losing something that wasn't real. So let the fantasy go. Remember that she is not the perfect person that you built in your mind, period. She's not. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. And then, Ivan, brother, get after it, work out, train hard, go to jiu-jitsu, hike, run, play guitar, just get after it. And those things, not only are they going to distract you from the pain, which is good, they're going to improve you as a human being, which is good, and they're going to rebuild your confidence, which is good, they're going to make you feel good, they're going to make you stronger and smarter and better and put you into a place where you don't need that little made-up fantasy anymore. And they're going to put you in a place where you're going to find something better than the fantasy. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the fantasies don't exist. The perfect girl or guy for you doesn't exist. They don't exist. So you're going to be out looking for someone that's good, but you're not going to find perfect. Don't get obsessed with finding perfect. If you find someone that's perfect, it's, it's not true. Everyone's got their flaws. So that's what you have to do. And, and you will end up finding someone that's real. And, and I get it, man. I know you're going to have some moments down in the hole, as Alice and Chins put it. Or trapped in the heart-shaped box, as Nirvana put it. Or so lonesome you could cry, as Hank Williams Sr. put it. Is it, you notice a theme here? This is what people go through. But those feelings, they're temporary, so let them say hi. Let them hang around for a minute or for half an hour or an hour or whatever, and then kick them out. Kick those feelings out. Get them out of there and go do something else. Take your mind away from those memories of fantasies and put build some good memories that are real. And yeah, you know what? You can use your anger and your frustration to fuel positivity for sure. And the other thing I'm telling you is if, if you take action with your body, your mind's going to follow. And pretty soon, you'll be on to the next chapter and you can move beyond this bad fantasy chapter that you kind of got roped into.